You saw this first on two. An HISD teacher accused of inappropriate behavior with at least one student. A source telling Channel 2 tonight that there are close to a dozen complaints here. Reporter Brandon Walker live at Northline Elementary with what he's learned about the allegations. Brandon? And Dominique, while those allegations are troubling tonight, that is where they stand, and that is because no formal charges have been filed against this teacher here at Northline Elementary, and that's because we are told HISD police is still investigating the claims. Gloria Diaz has a son who attends Northline Elementary School, and she spent a lot of time here herself volunteering, she says. That's how she says she got to meet the teacher, who tonight is at the center of trouble. Hard to believe, Diaz says. It's troubling. She fears for her child and others, even thinking about attending a new school. Good morning. You're listening to audio from the robocall parents received detailing allegations of inappropriate appropriate behavior involving a teacher. The teacher has been removed from this campus and reassigned to a non-teaching role pending the outcome of a thorough investigation. What that reassignment is, HISD won't say. Well, I'm scared. Jennifer Cuello's four-year-old daughter attends Northline. You talk to your daughter? Yeah, about that. And, yeah. you, and, and you tell her? When the teacher told you or something happens, you need to tell me. A police source tells Channel 2, while word of the allegations is new, the alleged inappropriate behavior occurred two years ago. And that source continues. After the teacher was removed from campus Friday, more alleged victims came forward. Close to a dozen. Claims of possibly more victims? That's not uncommon, says Channel 2 legal analyst Brian Weiss. What we tend to see in these kinds of cases are not isolated incidents. We generally don't see one-offs. We see multiple allegations involving multiple complainants. Yeah, and one more point from Brian Weiss. He adds that uh, the fact that the charges haven't been filed yet is, again, a result of this investigation. He says that you can look for the testimony here from victims to prove helpful or prove key, rather, in whether charges are filed. So stay with us as we stay on top of this story. We are live tonight on the north side. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.